Most of us have customized Photoshop to our liking, but what happens when your machine needs to be reformatted? Or if you have a new machine that you're trying to synchronize your setting across to? In this video, I'm gonna share with you three things that you can do to make it easy to recover if you have to reinstall Photoshop from scratch or if you have to migrate your Photoshop settings to a new machine. So let's get right into it. The very first thing that I do is I make sure that I sync my settings up to the cloud. And you can do that by going into Photoshop, Preferences, General. When you do that, you wanna make sure that preset syncing is checked on. Now, preset syncing will go ahead and synchronize your brushes, your swatches, your gradients, your patterns, and your shapes. It doesn't do a complete sync of all of your settings, but these are the major ones that it does. It, the first run through of syncing will take some time, so you want to make sure that you, know, you give yourself at least an hour, depending upon what you have within your Photoshop tool set. But just give it some time, it will go ahead and uh, back it up for you. And the bonus thing is you can actually use those same synchronized settings on another machine. So if you're having to go into the lab or if you have another machine that you're sharing or if you're temporarily using someone else's machine with your uh, Photoshop uh, Creative Cloud account, you can migrate those settings over to that new machine. So that's pretty cool. The second tip is to save your customized actions. And we can do that by making sure that the actions panel is open. And actions are basically uh, macros that you can use to speed things up. I have several actions that I've created myself. One is a signature action, which will go ahead and put my signature on a drawing. And uh, I've got it currently in button mode. If I go to the ha hamburger menu and uncheck button mode, I can see all of my actions. And each action shows you the individual steps of that action so that you can automate certain tasks. Uh, and what I like to do is to save my actions out. You can select the folder that contains all the existing actions and go to save actions. And it will normally try to put the actions that you save into a presets folder in Photoshop, but you can save that wherever you wish. Just make sure that it's easy for you to find. So that's the second thing that I would recommend doing. And the third thing I would recommend doing is to save out your tool presets. Now this is something that is slightly different than your brushes. Tool presets are quick access brushes that you can use. They might already exist in your brushes folder or they might be subtle tweaks of a specific brush that you want to preserve. And I have several of these. And what I like to do is go to the, uh, the little sprocket thing and uh, go to save tool presets. And again, I would save this um, it's a TPL file, save it where you save your actions so that way everything is in one spot. So those are three things that I would recommend doing. They don't take that much time. They will save your butt when you uh, have a situation where you have to reformat your drive or if you're having to migrate your settings to a new machine. Uh, I believe this works across Mac and PC. Um, so that's another bonus advantage if you're switching from a Mac to a PC or vice versa. Those settings will automatically translate over. So. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.